Hello world, welcome to the 213th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. And so if you're new to my channel, one of the projects I'm working on is creating codes that manage all my personal finances. And the goal is to have them run at night and then I'm creating my own personal finance, uh, financial dashboard, right? So every morning when I wake up, but prior to going to the gym, my goal is to have this dashboard and have all these aspects of my personal life at my fingertips. And so um, one of the things I want to show off is I am building this in Plotly Dash, right? And so it creates a, a, your own web page for you, and it's a Pythonic way of creating websites um, that primarily focus on data visualization. So it is like the premier premier tool to use if you're using it in a Pythonic way versus kind of like a generic Tableau way. And so I'm just going to show it off real quick. And so what we're going to do is look at two different tabs. I've showed off a financial dashboard before for all my dividends. And so I'm just going to show the tab feature now. So this is a, a financial dashboard that I created and it has my dividends. Okay, so we're just going to run this real quick so you can see this financial dashboard. So this is my financial dashboard. Um, ignore all the numbers because this is pulling from an Excel sheet where I've just decreased all my shares held for $1. These bars are for testing purposes. Um, so it is August right now, so July through Jan, I have some fictional data in there. Uh, estimated yield would be nice at 98.88%, right? Um, but again, this isn't uh, real. And so uh, it's also pulling my home value from Zillow. So if you want to watch how I did that, you can start off on the first video by clicking here. And so <clears throat> that's great. But what I want to do is have a bunch of tabs up here to look at the different aspects of my personal finances. So this is going to be probably my personal finance dashboard. I want it to have just everything about my life down here. And then I also play a massive multiplayer online role playing game called Albion Online. And um, just to be super nerdy with you, I it has a lot of finances in there. there. I call it an Excel simulator. And I want all of that data on a separate tab. And so right now I don't have anything populated, but if you want to see kind of how to access some semi-live data with Albion, you can also click here. And so that's pretty much it. I don't know why my camera keeps turning off, but now you have tabs and it updates like that. And soon I'm hoping to have many, many tabs. So that's a real life example. So let's go through the code of a simple code of how to create tabs like that. So first you're going to need to pip install dash. Right? And so from dash you're going to import HTML, DCC, input and output. So make sure, you know, depending on when you watch computer programming videos, you watch a more current one because dash has made some updates and so you might see from dash import dcc dot components as or something like that but this is the 2023 way of doing it so from dash import html dcc capital i for input capital o for output then app equals dash dot capital dash pass it underscore underscore name underscore and then this is all you're going to put in the app dot layout so usually you put all of your HTML here for other programs, but not in this scenario. So you're going to do dcc.tabs, id equals tabs, value equals tab-1, children, and then the children will be listed down here. So um, make sure, right, you space it out properly like that. So dcc.tab 
label equals tab.1 so you can change this to whatever you want it to say the value if you want to do some cool stuff later make sure you remember that tab 1 is called tab 1 tab 2 is tab 2 but when you have 10 of them you might like if I say personal finance or let's say dividend app Albion and then you have like 50 more you might want to change these values to reflect this um, maybe a shorthand way of doing it right versus tab 1 tab 2 so let's just change it back this is just this code is just for a uh, YouTube audience and then you can add more tabs as needed the last one would not have this comma here no oh, I'm sorry I will have this comma here yeah and then you're gonna close this bracket for children close this one for tabs put a comma and then this will be the ID for the whole thing so HTML.div ID equals tab content. Close it out here. Close it out there. And that's it for app.layout. That's a departure from what you've probably seen in a lot of other Plotly Dash videos. Then we're going to do the decorator here. So at callback, the output is going to be tab content. It's going to look for the children we just talked about. The input is going to be the tabs, so all the different tabs we have on there, and then the value. Then it's going to render that content with the appropriate tab. So if tab equals equals tab.1, now remember if you change this value here, you have to change these down here. Then we're going to return HTML.div. And then right now we just have an h3 header that says tab1 content. Um, L if, so else if tab equals tab.2. Now I just put tab2 content in there. Um, but this is where you put the majority of your code. So if you look at my financial dashboard, these are all the constants that's going to load first. This is some um, more contents. I have the app.dash just like the example. And then this is it in my app.layout. But when I come here to render content for tab 1, it goes all the way down here to tab 2. All right. And then same with tab 2. You just put all the code that goes under here. And then you can just ca keep on adding else if statements. Uh, don't In this scenario, you wouldn't put an else situation, right? Because you should have defined tabs. You don't need an else in this case. And then just run it. So if under underscore name equals main, app.run.server debug equals true. That's I like to have the debug mode on for down here. So let's look at what this example looks like. It's very um, simple here. So tab one. This is the H3 tab 1 content, tab 2, now it switched to tab 2, and this is just an H3 right here. So pretty powerful, pretty excited that um, it's working for me, and I hope this helps you. If it does, show me what you're working. If you have a YouTube channel, um, I'm interested to see how you're using Plotly Dash as well. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.